Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP top projects and in this video we will learn top SAP OData projects. So we have curated a list of these top 10 projects. So being an SAP developer or an OData developer, you might have worked on multiple project creation, right? So where you have used the T code like SEGW and then you have used IWFND, Mint service. So you might have created services. You have used those services for API integration, SAP UI5. So like these, you might have already done some project creation work. But to be a proficient OData developer, you need to explore more. And we have these top 10 projects that you should be aware. So we have also written an article and in that article, you can find all these projects. So links and references are mentioned there. So we'll add that article link in the description of the video. Perfect. So we'll move with the first project. The very first project that is custom OData service development that you might be already doing using a CGW where you can go and create a fresh OData and OData can be of any type where either you are getting data from tables or you are getting data from a CDS views and creating current operations on top of that. So that's the very first project everyone one should know. The second project is custom Fury apps development. So whatever OData you have developed, you might have either created it for some third party or you might have just done, you know, the creation for a particular current operation. But when you go for a Fury app development, you get to know that, okay, you need to have more features, more association and navigation functionality. So you should be aware regarding Fury app development and what all requirement comes from Fury to OData for the enhancement. The third project is OData service enhancement. So you might work in a project that is already developed by either SAP or some any third party company and their OData will be already existing and your task will be to, you know, work on the extension or enhancement of the project. So this particular project, you know, is used to improve the existing functionality or performance by adding new data resources. So this is the third type of project that everyone should be aware of. The next one is OData batch processing. So there is something called batch processing where you can do multiple create, multiple read, update and delete functionality all together. And th those calls will be sent to the backend in a single call. And in the backend itself, it will be in the form of multiple calls. So from front end to back end, the call will be single, but in the back end, it will be multiple creation calls or update calls. And these features are enabled using some predefined functions of OData. This is something also you should be aware of. Then we have something called OData authorization and security. This is a very uh, important part, a favorite part for interviewers, where they do ask like how exactly you will integrate authorization and security in your OData. So this is something that you should also explore. And then we have something called OData performance optimization. So there are a lot of ways by which you can improve the efficiency. You know, the, the reason is that you might be doing some creation and the creation code might be written in such a way that it takes a lot of time and the UI might fail. So keeping everything in mind, you should work on optimization of the performance of OData. So for that also, a lot of things has to be considered like caching is required, batch processing is required query optimization is required. So those things are something you should explore. Then we have something called OData integration with non SAP systems. So you have created OData, you have used in SAP UI5, that's something a regular OData developer is doing. But when you have to create OData that can be used in third party solutions like React Native, Python, or you are creating OData for, you know, analytics, you know, SAP SAC is there. So for those features, the OData creation is a bit different. So that also something you have to explore. And then we were discussing, right, the SAC part. So developer can use OData to extract data from, you know, SAP systems and use it for analytics and reporting purpose. So this actually helps business, you know, to gain insights into their operations and make data driven decisions. So this is also one aspect that is booming as of now. So you should explore this particular project. 
core data service monitoring and logging so suppose whatever is going on via your own data as some crashes are happening some unauthorized users are entering so those things actually you can monitor and you can get the log of those particular operations so that is something a developer should always monitor and check the performance of their service so this is also something you should explore and the last one in our list is odata service versioning so developers can use odata to version their services this can help your business maintain compatibility with existing clients while making updates to their services so you can create multiple versions of your odata apis so i believe you should be aware of these projects and in case not you should go and read the article and find respective projects and work on them so we'll meet in another video thank you